on uh, great overall defensive performance, I think four sacks, uh, four turnovers. Uh, did you see this coming in? Did you think this team was going to perform like this today? Yeah, uh, this is this is the standard that we should do every week, honestly. Um, with guys, you know, getting upfield, our D linemen getting upfield, our, our DBs challenging them, and uh, stopping the run, I feel like this should be the standard for our defense every week. Talk about those two picks. What, what did you see in each one? Um, shout out, shout out, John McCartan for the first one. Uh, he was uh, rushing the quarterback on the first one, and I just uh, high moved the ball. And uh, shout out my, my guys for blocking, even though they gave us a blunt out on that one. Uh, it was fine. And then the second one, uh, just see ball, get ball. But um, at the end of the day, uh, I only make the plays with with uh, the front 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 seven getting up to the quarterback, getting him uncomfortable, and throwing uh, some bad balls. Out. Katan, just kind of talk about this game as a whole, just kind of getting you guys ready for the final two games, and then uh, obviously thinking back to the game against Washington last year that was just a heartbreaker for you guys up there. Is this one you guys have had circled this season? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, our biggest game is the next game. Um, so our biggest game was this game, and so now so our biggest game is Washington. Um, we definitely have a bad taste in our mouth from last year, um, but at the end of the day, we, we want to you know regroup um, and just go out there and execute, play our best ball coming this coming Saturday. Seems like week after week, you guys have played against a team who plays two quarterbacks all throughout the game. What does that say about this defense to be able to you know research two quarterbacks throughout the week and know their tendencies to be able to put a performance like this out? I think uh, it shows that we're, we're getting after the quarterback, you know, affecting him uh, physically, and that uh, it's just you got to do more than one thing to, to affect our defense. And uh, I think that shows um, really how smart and uh, how much we have to game plan, you know, for, for teams to do different stuff because they can't just do their basic things. So they always have to do trick plays. So I think it's really crucial for our defense to have great eyes and uh, great attention to detail. And then obviously going forward, you're going to just play against one quarterback in these last two teams. Is that a bit more relaxing for you guys out there? On these uh, I mean, it was the top two quarterbacks in the conference, so <laughs> it's not that relaxing. We still <laughs> the best two quarterbacks are going to play all year. But um, no, nah, at, least, at least we know they're not going to run the ball that much. Um, but no, we got we to gotta go out there and make both the, these last two quarterbacks uncomfortable. Um, they both have great receivers. Um, Washington and Oregon, so we have to go out there and challenge the receivers, and they both have a good run game. Um, you know, Washington has a good old line. Oregon has some great running backs. So we got, we, you know, two two great games ahead of us. Katana, I just got to ask, how good did it feel to finally get that pick this late? <laughs> um, it felt great. Uh, coaches and players have been messing with me all year from not having a pick. So uh, finally, it was a great to have some. Katan, I know this defense obviously has prided itself on being, again, one of the top in the nation. You guys, of course, have had your couple ups and downs this season. Where do you guys feel like you're at right now, again, heading into this last two-week stretch that by many are considering potentially the toughest stretch of your guys' 2023 season? I think it's always, um, with our mindset, you know, the culture we've built here, it's always a, a chase for perfection. So I think it's always trying to play our best ball this Saturday, play our best game this Saturday. So, um, you know, everything that's happened has happened, you know, Wazoo, Arizona. At the end of the day, we got to go out there and do our jobs and execute. John mentioned that uh, the Oregon State players that were inducted into the Hall of Fame this week, he came and spoke with you guys. What do you take away from that? Um, you know, you take, I mean, it's Alexis, you know, Alexis Serna has been here um, for a while and he does his beyond football and he's a you know, great support system here. And Mike Riley was actually working with the tight ends my freshman year. Um, so I do remember that. And Mike Haas, even though he went to Jesuit, um, <laughs> I mean, it's just great stories of walk-ons. You know, Coach Smith was a walk-on too. It gives a lot of guys a walk-on. Myself, you know, it gives a lot of guys inspiration that you, you know, if you set your mind to it, you really put the work in, that you can do whatever you, you know. Good on, uh, ESPN has announced that they're not going to come here for game day next. Are you aware of that? And what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm aware of that. And at the day, we we got to win the game. Either if game day was here or not, we still we're still just trying to win the game.